Hi everyone, I'm Don Singletary and welcome to the channel. There's a common belief in trading that once you enter a trade, the risk is fixed. But actually, it changes all during the trade. And that's what today's live trade featuring the Standard & Poor's 500 Micro E-Mini is all about. I'll have that and more coming up next. In the Tastyworks software, just click on the position screen and you'll see your current positions if you have them on there. You can click positions and then go over and click bracket. And when you click bracket, you're going to go for a bracketed order, also known as one cancels the other, or an OCO order. There are three parts to the OCO. The white area is labeled the starting point. I've just shorted two S&P 500 micro e at 3440. Right now the market is 3437 and three quarters, so you can see right here that I'm up 22 and a half dollars currently in the trade. Now the second part. The second part is called the stop loss. There are, you may remember, two types of stop loss orders. Right here I've selected market, so this is going to be a stop market order. It has a trigger price of 34.42. Remember, I'm short two contracts at 34.40, so I would lose two points. I'm trading two contracts, so it's $10 per point. So if I lost two points up at 34.42, I would be down $20 in the trade. And the Tastyworks bracket order changes the figures and does the math for you each time you change that trigger price number. Okay, now I've got a trick, I said trick, question for you. So come closer. At this point in the trade, I'm short two of the S&P 500s at 34.40. My unrealized profit is $22.50. My stop loss order would stop out at a loss of $20. The trick question is this, how much money am I at risk for in the trade right now at this moment? If you said $42.50, you're exactly right. You're risking that unrealized profit in addition to that stop loss at $20. Most people in trading don't think this way, but that money, that unrealized profit, is always one mouse click away from going into your bank. Live trade's coming up in a moment, but I want to show you something before we get there about this scalping 2.0. If you see the yellow highlighted area here, it's one of the areas on this chart that you might try a scalping trade. Right about here, you get a sell signal. Now what you want to do in scalping is to use a bracketed order with a uh, stop market order probably right in behind it. So you follow the trade down and as you get more and more unrealized profit, you move that stop market down so that if the market reverses suddenly, which it will do in this case, you don't give back all of the profits you have already. You can use a bracket order or you can just simply use a stop market order. It's your choice. Of course, this illustration is just hypothetical and we have the genius of hindsight. But in today's live trade, I'm going to show you how we can use this, this strategy moving that stop behind it to capture those unrealized profits during a trade and therefore actually decrease the risk during the trade. Okay, let's get going. Trade of the uh, week, live trade of the week that is. Sold two S&P 500 micro E-minis on October 21st at a price of 34.40. That may look familiar to you but this is the live trade on screen now. So I, I bring up the bracket orders and I put in a stop there at 34.42, which is a $20 loss stop order. And I've been in the trade now for a couple of minutes and I'm up uh, about $30 in the trade. So um, I'm gonna keep a close eye on this and watch what happens. I'm gonna put in a, a close at a profit target here. I decided that I would uh, put the initial target 
at making $100 on this trade. So uh, 10 points down from the uh, sale price of 34.40 would be 34.30 at $10 a point, 10 points, $100 profit. And my uh, unrealized profits at this moment are up uh, to about $25, and I've moved my stop from uh, to 34.41, which made a $10 loss, my worst case scenario. I just changed it again here. Now it's 34.39, and the market's trading down at 34.36 and three quarters, 34.36 now. So I'm considering moving that stop again already. So let's watch the trade here and see how it develops. And it doesn't take long. Uh, I notice the market's trading now at 34.36 and a half. I'm contemplating, can I move that stop down a little bit more? I don't want to get stopped out and lose some future profits coming up. But I decide to go ahead and, uh, after uh, holding my finger on the trigger here for a moment, I decide, since it's trading at uh, 35 now, I can go on down a little bit more and lock in some more. So I go for uh, 34.38. And that now means my worst case scenario is making 20 bucks on the trade. So now it's a free trade. And I've got $32.50, $30. I've got $20 at that bank. So I'm only at risk for 12 and a half bucks here. But I'm not making a lot of money yet either. So I want to work this trade some more. And I have a feeling it's going to take a little bit of work to get some money out of this one. We'll see. I'm up $35. I have 20 of it bank now. And... Uh, 40, I've got half of it banked, and now it's uh, $50. Uh, I've got $30 at risk and $20 banked, so to speak. And I'm going to move that stop down some more, a little bit more, 34 37 this time, so I'll lock in a profit of uh, $30. And I'm at risk for the other 15 there, you see, of unrealized profits of about uh, 47 50 there. 52 50 50 55 so I sound like an auctioneer. So I'm risking $25 to stay in the trade. I have $30 banked. And uh, my stop is at 37 I decide to, to squeak it on down just a little bit more. 34 36 Now I'm taking a chance here. I don't want to get out of the trade too soon and miss some profits. I've got $40 banked now. And I'm at risk for $12, $15 of that 55 up there. And... Uh, the market's trading 34 33 right there. So I'm up $70. It's time to bank some more now. So I'm going to move that stop down from 36 down to 35. I've locked in $50. And my total unrealized profit is 65 67 now. So I'm risking about uh, $25 now. It's going up very fast at uh, $80 there. And I bank 50 So I'm at risk for about $30 on the trade here. And uh, at 34.35, I decide one more time to move that stop in just a little bit closer. And now I've banked $60 and I've got a $75 unrealized profit. So I'm at risk for only $12.5 to $15 here. And I have 60 of that in the bank already, so to speak. And uh, we'll see what happens with the trade. Obviously, I hope it keeps going down. And uh, I remember I put a profit target in of uh, 34.30 in my bracket order. And so now I've got a pretty narrow band here. I would uh, gladly take $100 out of this trade for a few minutes' work. 34.34 is where my stop is now. And um, I'm banking 60 risking about $22 of unrealized profit. Not too bad. And uh, now my unrealized profit was up to $85 there. I decide one more time, see if I can get away with it. And uh, I was going to put in 34.33 as a stop, and I go back and look, and I've already been stopped out of the trade. And uh, I was stopped out of the trade when it went down momentarily to 34.30, which means I did make my $100 target profit on this. Now, I'm going to tell you, it was just pure luck. I picked $100. For all I know, the trade could have gone on and I could have made $200 off of it, but I was very happy in the eight minutes to collect $100 for that trade. But you see, I had to work for it and uh, I had to use the space between my ears rather than a math formula to be able to eke money out of that trade. And I did take some risk on getting stopped out, but that's part of the gig. You signed up for it. 
And before I go, there's one other thing I get asked frequently, a frequently asked question of why don't you trade more than one or two or three contracts? Uh, seems like you're nickel and diamond here. Well, the whole point of this channel is to help people that haven't traded stock index futures or futures at all uh, get into it and learn how to day trade these things. It is very difficult. Most people fail at it. About 90% fail within a year, 50% within six months. It's extremely risky. Don't play with the rent money on this stuff. But it's a uh, heck of a lot of fun. And uh, you can imagine now, you know how to multiply. Instead of $100, if I traded four contracts, it would have been $200 and so on. So once you learn this skill, take the baby steps. Don't risk a lot of money until you build some confidence and time. And uh, for some people, that's uh, two months. For others, it's two years. And everybody's different. So I can't make any guarantees to you about that. But it is risky, a risky way of trading. And it's not for everyone. And uh, today we had a, a great fun trade, and I was glad I was able to show you how to use that, uh, that trailing stop that I manually operated during the trade. Now, I could have been stopped out at $40 in five minutes, and uh, I wouldn't have been unhappy about that. But this one turned out pretty good, and I think it was partially luck, uh, to be honest. Well, you know the old adage that uh, luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. Maybe I should give myself the benefit of the doubt, and uh, the truth is, I don't know how those things work. But uh, if you're willing to work at it, you can make some money with this trading. And please remember that the 50-plus free training videos on this channel are brought to you by the book. And you see the picture there. It costs less than a waffle potato and a Chick-fil-A sandwich, so you can afford it. It gets everything all in one place, the basics, the beginning, the psychology of trading, all those things, how to find a broker, and many other uh, topics inside the, this uh, short but concise book. And I hope you'll support the channel by ordering your copy today, and I appreciate that very much. And uh, by the way, uh, this video today was your idea from the comments and suggestions I get when you hit the like button it tells me yeah I want more videos like this one so hit the like button if that's the case and that helps me determine what's going to be in next week's video so thanks for riding along today I'm Don Singletary and I hope every day is a payday for you and thank you